chapter 25. A Psalm of David Unto you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, in you have I trusted. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yes, none that wait for you shall be ashamed. They shall be ashamed that deal treacherously without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your compassions and your mercies. For you have been from old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy remember ye me. For goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore doth he instruct sinners in the way. He guide the humble in justice, and he teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. His soul shall abide in prosperity, and his seed shall inherit the land. The counsel of the Lord is with them that fear him, and his covenant to make them know it. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will bring forth my feet out of the net. Turn you unto me, and be gracious unto me, for I am solitary and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O bring you me out of my distresses. See mine affliction and my travail, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are mine enemies, and the cruel hatred wherewith they hate me. O keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I am taken refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, because I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. All right, let's go back up, verse 1. Now, once, once again, we have a psalm. It's a, this is a song of David. Kind of sounds a little more like a prayer, but it is. It is a prayer. And it, it's really David praying uh, for Israel. We have David here as the author. David means the beloved. And once again, he, David was the king. And from out David's window, we, we know David could see. And he knew what was going on in the city. And he knew the strife of the people. And he, he had a good understanding of what was going on and. God had made David king. God had revealed to David certain things. Of, and David was privy to much understanding, we should say. We're going to pick it up here in verse 1. Unto you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. And it is unto God do we lift up our soul. And, and our soul is that which in us. that That is within us. And sometimes we... We, people get confused of what the soul is, but uh, the soul is the inward man. Uh, we can look out and we see our flesh, and it, it wraps upon us. And this flesh is our servant. It, it is the one that helps us and, and goes with us, We or we go with it, however you want to look at it. But these two are, are one in the earth, and we this is what we see. And... Uh, this becomes the being or the one who is manifest in the earth. But the soul is still this one within it, this one who hoped. And a lot of times we get caught up in the earth, as as we're going to find out, with trouble. Uh, whatever trouble you may have, there's a, uh, so many troubles, one couldn't count them all. And the these troubles are, are there's nothing that we can't overcome in life and we can do it with the help of God God has a path uh, from wherever you're at that leads back to the way to oh my God and you have I trusted let me not be ashamed let not mine enemies triumph over me oh my God and God is the one we call out to God is the one of our understanding God is this one who give us the law give us understanding and knowledge of that which is right that which is right in the beginning, even from the moment you was born as a child. Don't let me be ashamed. 
and don't let our enemies triumph over us. And our enemies are these ones in the earth who, who won't listen, these ones who come against, these ones who cause the oppression of. And we're going to find out. We're, we're not talking about David. We're talking about Israel. Three. Yes, none that wait for you shall be ashamed. They shall be ashamed that deal treacherously without cause. None that wait on God, none that wait on the Lord. He's the Almighty. He is the existing one that no one has seen. Shall be ashamed. There's none that shall be ashamed that. And, and we have this weight here. Uh, these that put their hope in God. Because we know God gave the law in the beginning. And it is that which rightfully divides in the earth. See, this is, this is God. This is how God works. Not no other... Uh, uh, there ain't nothing... Uh, frilly about it. There ain't nothing fancy about it. God's great thing is, is a work. It's something that's n done, see, that we can witness from generation to generation. And But those that are uh, deal treacherously and to be deceitful, to be... Uh, let, we'll just go look at this word. These that transgress... Uh, according to Jean, King, King James Version says these that transgressed or these that uh, bogot. We remember that word, bogot. To act treacherously, deceitfully, to deal treacherously. And that's exactly what it is. It's the root of baged. We remember baged, that treach, the, the, the treachery. But see, this is bogot, and it's the root of it. I mean, it is to be treacherous, to be deceitful. Out, all out, just a flat liar, and we caused it. They're they're idolaters, is what they are. For show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. But show me your ways, O Lord. Show me your ways, the way of God. Show me this way. Teach me your paths. Teach me your paths, God. Show me how to get into your understanding. And we find out God give us some uh, from the beginning for our own good. To see what we could do with it. Five. Guide me in your truth. And teach me. For you art the God of my salvation. For you do I wait. All the day. Guide me in your truth Lord. Show me your uh, knowledge. Show me your wisdom. Show me what, what God knows. And teach me. For you art God of my salvation. And, and God is the teacher. God is the one who teaches. Even from the beginning, God says, I, I will instruct you. I will show you. I will, I will give you some understanding in, her, in the earth if you will look for it. We'll find out today. A lot of people, we, we don't know. A lot of people don't know things. Nobody is teaching the law no more. Nobody gives instruction. Nobody shows that, you know, that God did this. This is the ways of God. We, we have to have some understanding in life to form a foundation and the law is the dry ground where we stand. Six, remember, O Lord, your compassions and your mercies, for they have been from old. Remember, O Lord, and we'll find God is constantly reminded. He has set these things in the earth to constantly remind, to constantly call to remembrance for us God's compassions. God's mercies that he's shown unto mankind time and time again. It's been this way forever from old, from the ancient of days. And David, he was alive in those periods of time, and he's claiming it from the ancient of days, long before he was alive. It's written in the stones. Seven. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to the mercy, remember you me. For your goodness sake, O Lord. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. And, and that's uh, the way of the youth. We find out they, the youth is uh, those that go, they go forth. They don't have a lot of knowledge. They're like a young lion. They go forth. They're testing out the life. They're testing out the waters. Hopefully they was given a, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of knowledge from the beginning. See, hopefully their parent give them a little instruction or we're going to find out they're going to suffer greatly in the earth because they don't understand the, 
they don't have a clear understanding of what right and wrong is. And you have to have a clear understanding of right and wrong, and the law gives us that clarity. The law gives us the clarification. Uh, don't these sins and these transgressions? These, these transgressions are a trespass, and it's against God's law. That's what definition of sin is. That's how we get the definition of right and wrong. It's based on this foundation. But we'll find that God, if we turn to God and put ourselves under this covenant, it's in a covenant, we're going to find out that we can make, anybody can make this agreement with God. God is not a respecter of persons. There's one law. It's for everybody. Remember me for goodness sake. For, for all the good uh, that has been done. Oh, Lord. Eight. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore doth he instruct sinners in the way. And God is good. God is, God is great and upright. He is just in all his ways. He is justice. Period. Uh, therefore doth he instruct sinners in the way. Because he defined it, he outlined it, so they could see. So could they could, a sinner is like somebody who is, a, to sin is to die, to be in darkness, to be in death. But in the grave, you have the ability to call unto God, and he will forgive you. Bring you back out of that grave, back into life, back into the covenant, back under the agreement. He is merciful, he is always, he is great and merciful. And he does instruct by the definition of the law. Nine, he guides the humble in justice, and he teaches the humble his way. The humble, those that 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 have understanding, is a is a good word for it because that's what they have done. They've accepted God's understanding. They've accepted it. They've humbled themselves under the law of God, because well, uh, if we're going to have a a leader, what well, what better leader is there than the most just, most upright, and that's that that's that one who shared with you a little bit of knowledge and understanding from the beginning. Ten. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. All the paths, all God's ways, his paths. The paths are something we go on, something we go by to get to God. And that's easy. Where are you at? See, where are you at in your transgression? Where are you at in your sin? Turn from there. See, there's a path out of here. And it's when we turn unto God. And truth unto such as... See, and mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. See, those that keep God's testimonies are these things that... He's confirmed in the earth these things that we can obviously see with our eyes even much more with our understanding if we will apply it these that keep his covenant and that covenant was a very simple thing see his covenant his covenant that he made in the beginning and it was a simple thing all he asked for was he said follow me uh, keep my keep my agreement this this is the law I'll make uh, keep it. It's for your own good. And uh, we'll have an agreement. Of course, there was a little more to it than just that. The, the, there's the law. There's a few other things that go with, with it. Uh, God's trying to separate. See, God's trying to separate. But we'll get to that in, in due time. 11. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. For your name's sake. Well, because we've called on the Lord. We've called on God. We've called on his understanding. And we're going to find out God is good to pardon iniquity. It, for It's him who we've sinned against. Sinned against nobody. You see, we, we sin against God. We trespass against God and his ordinances. It's a free will thing. It was for our own good. And all it is is God's trying to lead you by the way and bring you to understanding. 12. What man is he that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. What man is he that fears the Lord? Here's a question. Who is it that fears God? Here's the answer. 
him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. We know who fears God because he's, he's in his way of correction. He's allowing the Lord to, to correct him. He is like clay upon the wheel for the potter, see? And the potter does make, and the potter does create according to his understanding. 13, his soul shall abide in prosperity, and his seed shall inherit the land. His soul shall abide in prosperity. He shall be content on, in his inwardness. He shall be content in his understandings even. And his seed the, that comes forth from him shall inherit the land. They go forth to inherit uh, in the land. This is a, a land of understanding, a land of knowledge, and a land of wisdom where, where they shall inherit. 14. The counsel of the Lord is with them that fear him and his covenant to make them know it. The counsel of the Lord, his advice, see that little advice God give you in the beginning, it's with them that fear him. Why? Well, it's, it's his covenant. It's his covenant, see, and it's his covenant. It's his agreement. Remember the agreement we made. Remember the agreement that and it's in this and this judgment is to make you know it so you can understand it we've got a covenant see these don't keep the covenant but i want you to keep the covenant i want you to be with this agreement with god keep the law be good go forth and do some good in in this world that's all god ever asked for to take this and 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 share it share it with the with the world Bring everybody to some understanding. Give everybody some knowledge. We'll find out there's those that will abuse it. There always is, but that's fine. God's got them. God's got them. Hold them accountable. He's going to ring them up. Oh, God has ringed them up. He, God puts them in their little circles. That's the way God works. 16. Turn you unto me and be gracious unto me, for I am solitary and afflicted. Turn you unto me, Lord. Be gracious unto me. I am solitary and afflicted. I am alone, Lord, and oppressed. That's what this is. I am solitary. I'm all by myself. I'm afflicted. Nay, none can going to help me, Lord, but I know that you can. I know that you are God, and you are gracious. You are merciful. 17. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring you me out of my distresses. These troubles of my heart, the, uh, it's the troubling within me, these things that I see. This is what troubles me more than anything. Bring you out of my distresses. The, uh, my distresses, these, I, uh, these things that, that oppress, bring me out of my oppressions, or from, from my oppressors. And these, those, those are those that, uh, come down on you they they want to act like you don't have no understanding like you don't got no knowledge they, you ain't got no wisdom we'll find out god give you some god give everybody about the same amount there ain't no nobody a little any smarter than others there's those that are a little more experienced uh have a little more knowledge of actual hands-on but as far as the ability See, God made us all equal. I can get experience too. 18. See my affliction and my travail. Forgive all my sins. See my affliction, uh, my oppression, my, my travail. These, my travail is this suffering. Suffering. We call it travail. It can be related to the, when a woman's given birth almost. My, this travail of my trying to come forth. And forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. I'm, I'm trying because why? If we are sinned, we're dead, and we're trying to come forth. We're, we're trying to come up out of the earth. We're trying to come up out of this grave, this understanding of uh, at where we are. This is death. To be held in sin. To be made accountable. Nineteen. Consider how many are mine enemies and the cruel hatred wherewith they hate me consider how many now are my enemies are these that come against me are these of cruel hatred wherewith they hate me 
these have come against me in an aggravated way with 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 violence and death in their eyes and, and under it's something that God causes in the earth it's contention see and it's con it's contention and and that's the way God works God does this he he wants he does it he makes an example out of it and because God is mighty and all these will find out no matter how cruel and how bad they hate because uh, we'll find out they're like little children and they they sometimes they have no understanding in what they say and what they do 20 oh keep my soul and deliver me let me not be ashamed for I've taken refuge in you keep my soul Lord Keep my inner man, keep my understanding, and deliver me. You know, the Lord has delivered us. We'll find out right out of the net. That net, uh, that device that, that was laid, a snare, I was laid. We'll find out. It, it, it was these idolaters. It was idolatry. Let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. No, no, or... For I have taken refuge in you. I have hid in the Lord. I have hid in his understanding. I have hid in God's knowledge and his wisdom. I have picked up the law. And it's a shield. And I have hid behind it. 21. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me because I wait for you. Let integrity and uprightness. That, let that justice. Integrity is to this word uh, is tome. And it means completeness, a fullness of, uh, of a simplicity, an innocence. Let an integrity even be solid to be uh, in understanding, so to speak. Finished off, com uh, uh, being completeness, to be in a whole of thought, I should say, of justice. Because I wait for you. And I wait, my hope is in God. And uh, my hope is that God will bring all the understanding, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, because he put it in you in the beginning, a little something that you could remember by. And then he made, and he, and he did a great work in the earth so that you could see that he was God. 22. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of his troubles. Redeem, O Israel. Redeem Israel. Israel are those that contend with the mighty one. And he is the God of judgment. See, they... And uh, this one even who God's got judgment upon are those that contend. Those that struggle uh, in judgment of God. Those that go forth in this earth and they, they won't accept God's understanding, God's knowledge, and they struggle. There's trouble. There's going to be strife in the earth. And God made a witness in the beginning and as he, with division, see, and he divided. And that's what who Israel is. They were the ten tribes, and Judah became the other two. This would be after David, though. But before then, even as one, they, there was strife and contention among the people. Oh, God out of his troubles and because we'll find out for a long time they have been troubled there has been oppression there and that's of those that come in from outside understanding israel is the one who has a covenant with god they've got an agreement with god and they know who they are see god put it inside you in the beginning to make notes so you would have understanding he wants you to hear it he wants you to have that understanding so he can deliver you from the troubles that all the other peoples have. Let's move forward. Chapter 26. Turn and return. 